Hello students. Today we see the acute angle between lines represented by the second degree homogeneous equation. Okay. In the eleventh we see the acute angle between any two lines. It is a tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2. It is a angle between any two lines with slope m1 and m2. M1 and M2 are the slopes of two lines and then theta be the angle between two lines. It is formula for the angle between any two lines. But here we see the formula for the angle. It is tan theta is equal to mod of 2 under root h square minus ab upon a plus b. It is formula for only the lines represented by second degree homogeneous equation. That is the combined equation of two lines passing through origin. When we given the equation of line in the form of combined equation that is second degree homogeneous equation then we find the angle between two lines by using this formula okay here if this formula is <coughs> not used in then we use this formula that is tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 therefore we separate this equation and separate the lines and then find the slope of two lines and then find angle between two lines but here directly Without separate this line, given equation it is in the form of second degree homogeneous equation and then direct tan theta is equal to 2 under root h square minus ab upon a plus b. Now we see first proof of this theorem. Here given that given that second degree homogeneous equation in x and y given that second degree homogeneous equation in x and y it is a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equal to 0 okay it is a second degree homogeneous equation let m1 and m2 are slopes of lines 1 okay therefore we know that sum of the slope m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h by b and m1 into m2 product of slope it is a by b okay sum of the slope and product of slope let theta be acute angle theta be the acute angle between lines 1 okay therefore we know that the formula for the acute angle tan theta is equal to here theta be the acute angle between lines 1 and then m1 and m2 are the slopes of line 1 okay this equation represents two lines and the slope of this line it is m1 and m2 therefore we know that the formula for the acute angle it is tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 okay it is formula for the acute angle here m1 into m2 it is given m1 into m2 is equal to a by b but m1 minus m2 they are not but we know that the relation between m1 minus m2 m1 plus m2 and m1 into m2 therefore we know that we know that m1 minus m2 whole square is equal to m1 plus m2 whole square minus 4 m1 m2 okay. yeah this relation we use in the previous examples okay m1 minus m2 difference between the slopes of two lines represented by homogeneous equation second degree homogeneous equation now here m1 minus m2 whole square is equal to m1 plus m2 whole square minus 4 m1 m2 m2 and we know that these two values therefore we can write minus 2h by b whole square minus 4 into 
a by b okay this can be written as it is 4 h square upon b square minus 4 a b therefore we can write m1 minus m2 whole square is equal to it is then take the cross multiplication b into 4 h square minus 4 a b square upon b cube here take 4 b common here b and b get b cancel okay therefore we can write it is 4 into h square minus a b upon b square here b b get common and denominator will be cancel and 4 4 get common h square minus a b it is it is m1 minus m2 whole square therefore we can write m1 minus m2 is equal to it is plus or minus 2 into under root of h square minus a b upon b it is taking the square root m1 minus m2 it is this and therefore tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 okay m1 minus m2 it is plus or minus 2 under root h square minus a b upon b whole to the upon 1 plus a by b that is m1 into m2 okay. then take the calculation it is 2 into under root of h square minus a b upon b and whole to the upon b plus a upon b it is addition and therefore we can write tan theta is equal to mod of 2 under root h square minus a b upon a plus b it is a formula for the acute angle it is the theorem okay see carefully okay here first m1 and m2 are the slopes of lines represented by this equation then we know that the sum of the slope and product of slope and angle formula for the angle between two lines angle between two lines with slope m1 and m2 it is the formula then we find m1 minus m2 therefore m1 minus m2 is whole square equal to m1 plus m2 whole square minus 4 m1 m2 and then take the calculation here m1 minus m2 is equal to this term and then put the all values that is m1 minus m2 and 1 plus m2 we get the formula tan theta is equal to 2 under root h square minus a b upon a plus b it is a formula for the acute angle represented by the second degree homogeneous equation it is okay now here some notes if lines 1 are perpendicular that is 1 means lines represent by homogeneous equation are perpendicular then a plus b is equal to 0 okay. if lines are perpendicular then a plus b equal to 0 we know that if lines are perpendicular therefore m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 that is the slopes of perpendicular lines product of slope of two perpendicular line it is minus 1 that is a plus b is equal to minus 1 and then a is equal to minus b okay and then a plus b equal to 0 okay here a plus b equal to 0 if lines are perpendicular okay here it is a proof then second if lines 1 are parallel then the condition is h square minus a b equal to 0 we know that if lines are parallel then m1 is equal to m2 therefore slopes of equal two perpendicular lines their product is minus 1 and if lines are parallel their slopes of equal that is m1 minus m2 is equal to 0 and here we find m1 minus m2 is this 
okay therefore you can write 2 under root h square minus ab upon b is equal to 0 here b get 0 2 get 0 therefore under root a square minus b equal to 0 then squaring on both sides h square minus ab equal to 0 it is the proof okay it is not necessary but the conditions are used in the examples okay, here it is a condition for the perpendicular lines and it is condition for the parallel lines okay now we see the examples Now, example, show that lines represented by Three x square minus four x y minus three y square equal to zero are perpendicular. Are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Here, simple. Okay. Without calculation, we can directly write it is a and it is b and a plus b equal to 0 then the lines are perpendicular okay now given equation three x square minus four x y minus three y square equal to 0 therefore you can write a is equal to three two h is equal to minus four and b is equal to minus three now a plus b is equal to 3 plus minus 3 and it is 0 therefore a plus b equal to 0 therefore lines represented by one are perpendicular to each other okay now next So that the lines are represented by x square plus 6xy plus 9y square is equal to 0 are coincident same coincident that is lines are parallel therefore h square minus a b equal to 0 okay. here given equation x square plus 6xy plus 9y square equal to 0. It is equation number 1. Now, a is equal to 1, 2h is equal to 6, therefore h is equal to 3 and b is equal to 9. Now, we find h square minus ab. It is 3 square minus 1 into 9 and it is 0. Therefore, h square minus ab equal to 0, therefore lines represented by 1 are coincident okay. then next Here, 
simple examples <coughs> which are asked in the board example for one marks or two marks. Find the value of k if lines represented by lines represented by k x square plus 4 x y minus 4 y square equal to 0 are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Again, same example, lines are perpendicular to each other, that means a plus b equal to 0, that is k plus minus 4, that is k minus 4 equal to 0 and therefore k is equal to 1, sorry, k is equal to 4. Here, given lines, k x square plus 4 x y minus 4 y square equal to 0, Here. therefore a is equal to k. 2h is equal to 4 and b is equal to minus 4. Here, lines 1 are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, a plus b equal to 0, that is k minus 4 equal to 0 and k is equal to 4. Okay, it is the value of k. Okay, it is asked for the one mark or in objective it is a two marks. Now next example. Find the major of the acute angle between the lines. represented by four x square plus phi x y plus four y square is equal to zero. Now it is a second degree homogeneous equation. Okay. Here given line four x square plus five x y plus four y square is equal to zero it is equation number one therefore compare with and then a is equal to four two h is equal to five therefore h is equal to five y two and p is also four now let Theta be acute angle between lines 1. Okay. Therefore, the formula for the acute angle between lines represented by homogeneous equation. It is 2 into under root of h square minus ab upon a plus b. Okay. Then, put the all values and take the calculation. It is 2 into under root of h square phi by 2. Okay. Directly it is 25 by 4. h square minus ab a into b. It is 16. And upon a plus b that is 4 plus 4 that is 8. Okay. Then is equal to 
again here 2 into under root of twenty five here it is a imaginary twenty five forty six okay here <coughs> it is a imaginary number that is forty eight twenty five minus forty eight that is under root of the h square minus a b less than zero okay less than zero does not represent lines it is a print mistake in the textbook so we get here one okay b is equal to one okay We get here <coughs> replace 4 by 1. Okay, then b equal to 1, then it is 4. Okay, and it is 4 plus 1. Okay, it is a print mistake in the textbook. Then <coughs> here it is 16. Then 25 minus 16, it is 9 by 4. And upon 5. Okay, 9 by 4 means. 3 by 2 that is 2 into 3 by 2 upon 5 therefore we can write tan theta is equal to 3 by 5 okay and therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 5 it is the value of theta okay now we see next example Two x square plus seven x y plus three y square equal to zero. Okay. Again, same example. Compare here. It is two x square seven x y and it is three y square. Therefore, a is equal to two. Two h is equal to seven. H is equal to seven by two and b is equal to three. Now, it is a formula for the acute angle. Then, put the other values. It is 2 into under root of h square. It is 49 by 4. 7 by 2 h square. Minus ab. 2 plus 3. Sorry, 2 into 3. It is 6. And upon 2 plus 3. It is 5. Now, we calculate. 2 into under root of here 6 into 4 it is 24 49 minus 24 it is 25 upon 4 and upon 5 and therefore it is 2 into 5 by 2 upon 5 and then the calculation it is tan theta is equal to 1 therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 that means pi by 4 or 45 degree okay. it is tan theta now next three x square minus 4 into under root of 3xy plus 3y square is equal to 0. three x square minus 4 under root 3xy plus 3y square equal to 0. Therefore, 3 it is minus 4 under root 3 that means minus 2 under root 3 h is equal to minus 2 under root 3 and b is equal to 3 okay it is a h and it is b put the value in the formula it is 2 into under root of here calculate it is minus 2 under root 3 whole square minus a into b and whole to the upon a plus b okay now take the calculation 2 into under root of it is 4 into 3 it is 12 minus 9 and upon 6 then it is under root 3 upon 3 here 2 
6 it is 3 and 12 minus 9 it is 3 and therefore it is 1 by under root 3 and therefore tan theta is equal to 1 by under root 3 that is theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 by under root 3 means pi by 6 it is the angle okay. pi by 6 now next 